because some of us may be under the misconception that by doing good deeds you're going to earn Jannah let me tell you that no good deeds can earn you Jannah I don't care if you take all of the good deeds of all of the human beings from the time of the first human being Adam alayhi salam to the time of the last human being you would not be able to take all of those good deeds take them to Allah and trade them to Allah and repay Allah for one human being's faculty of vision you couldn't repay Allah the price isn't enough there's not enough you could do to repay Allah for what he has done for us one human being's eyesight you can never repay Allah with good deeds what about all the human beings faculty of vision hearing smelling seeing the air that Allah has given us to breathe the water that he has given us to drink the food that he gives us to eat the earth that he has given us to inhabit the beautiful homes the dwellings the possessions the children the families with what are you going to repay Allah for that what price would you take to Allah and think that you've done enough to repay Allah for that wallahi you can't you cannot repay Allah for the favors he has given us and most of those favors are favors that most of those favors are favors that we deny so we definitely couldn't repay Allah for them but what can you earn then how do we go to Jannah what is the price what is the price to go to Jannah good deeds but it's not by earning Jannah what do we earn with good deeds what do we earn with actions what do we earn with belief on top of actions what you earn is you earn that Allah decides to forgive you you earn that Allah decides to have mercy upon you and not punish you for the sins that you commit because even one sin is enough for Allah to punish us because Allah says وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ that I didn't create man and jinn for no reason other than that they should worship me so one thing that you do contrary to that is enough for Allah to punish you so we hope that by doing good by believing in Allah and His Messenger and striving for Allah's sake we hope that Allah will decide to forgive us have rahmah upon us and then give us Jannah for free as a gift. Allah gives us Jannah because He desires to do so. Allah could just forgive us and cause us to cease to exist. Say go. Cause us to cease to exist. And no one would be able to blame Allah for being unjust to us. But Allah says not only will I forgive you, I'll give you Jannah forever. يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذَنُوبَكُمْ وَيُدْخِلْ And not only will I give you Jannah, Allah tells us, but Allah says, I'll give you beautiful dwellings. فِي جَنَّةِ عَدْن In the garden of bliss. ذَلِكُ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ This indeed is a great achievement. You want to achieve something in life? You want to be something? You want to be somebody? I don't care if you have 10 PhDs, master degrees, four cars, beautiful home, beautiful wife, beautiful children, money that's stacked in banks upon, upon banks. Allah does never anywhere refer to in the Quran as this being an achievement. Nowhere can you find Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam or his sahaba or the righteous predecessors of our past speaking of this as an achievement. But Allah says that having his forgiveness and going to Jannah, ذَلِكُ فَوْزُ الْعَذِيمُ This is an achievement indeed. So you want to achieve something? Achieve this. Achieve that Allah forgives you. Achieve Jannah. Do three things, and Allah will give you all of this. Allah will give us an avoiding of a painful punishment. Allah will not only avoid us a painful punishment, dear brothers and sisters, but He will forgive us for everything that we've done. And we all need it. I'm the one who needs more forgiveness than probably most of you watching this show. We earn Allah's forgiveness for our sins, and then He gives us Jannah. Subhanallah. 
Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And not only that, he gives us beautiful dwellings in the beautiful part of Jannah. Fi Jannati Adn. Thalikul Falzul Adeem. This is what comes with action, brothers and sisters. There's more than just Iman that we need, brothers and sisters. There's more than just saying, I believe. I believe, and that's it. Because if we look at the companions <clears throat> of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he asked them to give him bay'ah, to give him a pledge of belief in him, the Sahaba said, this is in, recorded in Bukhari and Muslim. The Sahaba said, Bayana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we gave bay'ah, pledge to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala sami wa ta'ati that we listen and we obey fil usri wal yusri in times of prosperity and in times of difficulty wal manshati wal makra and in hardship and in difficulty wa ala atharatin alayna and we don't fear the reproach of the people, we don't care what anybody says. This was the bay'ah that they say they gave to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as recorded in Bukhari and Muslim, that we gave pledge to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to listen and obey in prosperity and in difficulty, in hardship and in ease. And that we didn't care what the people think, we didn't care what the people said, we didn't care what the people did. We gave bay'ah to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for this. وَعَالَ أَنْ نَقَوْلَ And that we would say, وَعَالَ أَنْ نَقُولَ بِالْحَقِّ And that we would speak the truth. أَيْنَا مَا كُنَّ لَا نَخَفُ فِي اللَّهِ And that we would say the truth no matter where we were and we wouldn't fear anyone but Allah. لَوْ مَتَلَائِمْ And we wouldn't care what the people would say. And that we would speak the truth no matter where we were. And we would not fear anyone but Allah. And we wouldn't care what the people thought. We wouldn't care what they said. This was the bay'ah that was given by the Sahaba to Rasulullah What else can we expect from ourselves? This is the deen of Islam. This is a deen that is a deen for men and for women. This is a deen for men who love Allah and His Messenger and don't fear the people. This is a deen for women who love Allah and His Messenger and they don't care what the people think. They say what is right and they say what is wrong. They do amr bin ma'roof. They command people to the ma'roof, the good deeds. And they forbid and they for prevent people from doing evil actions and they believe in Allah this is the deen of Islam it's a deen that is not only iman in the heart it is not only professing with the mouth it's the actions of the limbs and this is the formula for success brothers and sisters that you believe in Allah and His Messenger and you make struggle, you strive in the sake of Allah with what He has given you of your possessions and yourself. This is better for you if you did but know. And Allah will avoid us a painful punishment. Allah will forgive us our sins. Allah will give us Jannah forever. Beautiful dwellings in the gardens of bliss. This is an achievement indeed. And if that was it, if that was all that Allah wanted to give to us, what else could we ask for? Allah wants to avoid you a painful punishment. He wants to give you forgiveness, Jannah. This is the achievement. This is the striving of the human being. This is the striving of the Muslim. And you can get it with these three things.